up guys welcome back to another video another vlog of mine my name is Erin if you're new to my channel so today I'm back with another vlog um starting my new chapter in my life with teaching so I didn't vlog last week just because it was uh, super busy and it was kind of um confidential and like um kind of too like personal I guess in a way so I did start my first um week not of teaching just yet but um of just starting to you know move into my classroom um start planning all of my trainings all of that so i did my first week last week um it went super well super busy week it went well though i feel like i'm ready as in technology based but curriculum um still have some work to do i have like one more big curriculum that i'm need to finish up training um which is tomorrow i'll be one-on-one -on -one with our trainer um online she's just i don't know really too sure what she's gonna like i don't know what the agenda is i just know she's probably gonna train me on like the basics what i need to be doing when all of that stuff so that is tomorrow um in the morning and then probably the rest of the week in the afternoon i'm just gonna start my planning and stuff since school does start the next week so next monday on the 17th i will officially be in school teaching so this week is kind of my really busy week to planning making sure i have everything um good to go make sure my classroom set up good um i have all my object objectives my materials everything that i need to go um i'm gonna try to bring you guys as along as much as i could um i'm not too sure how it will go in like school in my classroom because like i want to try to keep as much stuff private you know for privacy reasons but um you know what i could show i mean i think i could probably show my classroom i've seen videos of people showing theirs i just want to make sure i'm not showing anything that might be confidential or you know um be too private for privacy reasons like i said um, but tonight i am um, going through my personal planner so of course I have my teacher's planner and then I have like my calendar at the school and then I have my personal planner which I keep in my purse so I got this cute little planner from Walmart it's so cute and it's the rainbow of course because that is kind of like my theme this year and it's just cute so this is just my uh, personal little planner that I gonna take with me to make sure i log all of my stuff my appointments being that it's gonna be so chaotic and busy keeping up with things i want to like keep it with me my purse all the time to make sure i am doing what i need to and then also just kind of keeping me a good a little um a to-do list just keep basically is what it is so right now it's sunday i'm going through this week and kind of just making to-do lists for what i want to do each day what I need to get done, what I um, want to get done. Um, just to kind of show you. Um, so like I, I have it set up as, you know, the week. So, um, you know, tomorrow I have my training up here. But I can't, I don't want you guys to see that part. Just because it has name, personal stuff, different things. Like, um, you know, I want to start looking at my science and curric social studies stuff. Because... We do have to start teaching that um, in the younger grades and they're kind of giving us our own choice to come up with what we want to teach and what curriculum we want to use. And then, like I said, on my to-do list, I want to set up my Keurig. So I had the mini Keurig that you guys um, have seen in my previous videos and my blogs um, that I used in my college apartment. And now that I'm back home, um, obviously I don't have it set up here because we already have coffee pot um, up in the kitchen. So... I, I want to put my Keurig to good use and I figure I could put it in my classroom because I'm sure there's going to be lots of times where I need coffee and if I don't have time to make it at home, I could just make it in my classroom. My classroom has its own sink, um, running water and all that, so I figure what the heck, I'll just throw it in my classroom. I'm going to finish this guys and then get to sleep and I'll catch you guys in the morning tomorrow. So, good night guys. Hey guys, I'm back. It's Monday, the next day. So I just got home um, for lunch after I went to the school this morning. Um, and I, like I said last night, I did have a, a training this morning that I had to do that was mandatory. And let me just say, guys, I feel like I have like a load off my shoulders, like taken off. Like 
I was not really stressed just yet, but I was getting kind of overwhelmed and like worried with this curriculum because I have obviously I've never done it and been trained on it because I'm a first year teacher. But it's like so much stuff. There's so much material. There's so many resources now with the online stuff. And then this curriculum has its own online format platform to like do assessments and do presentations and download resources and print them and everything so i was when i was cleaning up my classroom last week i was finding all these materials they were just thrown all over and i just wasn't sure what to do with them i don't know what they were for i just knew that they were probably part of this curriculum so i was just saving them in a certain area so today when i got the training done um i just feel so much relief because my um the trainer you know she she helped me through it and she told me what was for what but just like knowing the resources and stuff better now is just a relief so that was my training this morning but i wanted to share with you guys my cute little planner my teacher planner that i'm so excited to use and so obviously i love this planner i chose it out and stuff um because it matches my theme and stuff in my classroom it's the same brand um all that but also i got it for free guys so if you are um a new a new graduate from college and you go to their website you just type in your email and you say you know when you graduated um, I think it asked maybe like what you graduated in. I'm not really too sure. I don't remember. And then they'll send you a free planner. So I got this one. Um, it's the schoolgirl style. It's a 12 month teacher planner. Um, has stickers. So I haven't even done anything in it yet because school hasn't started and I'm going to start my planning this week. So um, this one is the schoolgirl, like I said. Um, it just says, wake up, teach kids, be awesome. Um, it's the rainbow just like my classroom is if you guys follow me on my teacher Instagram I posted about this as well so this is like the inside obviously I haven't filled out anything yet it's all these wonderful um, resources all these pages you could write your stuff in contact welcome as a communication log it has all these like planets if you want to do like seating charts or something um you're at a glance and then at the beginning is all of your your calendar so like it starts in july but it goes um it's obviously not data so you can put it in yourself so these are all like your calendars let me go like i said they're all at the beginning and then eventually it starts like you know with your plan with your weekly planning sheets so like i said here's mine um i've just dated them for my first week of school which is next week and then i could um, write in my subjects and i start writing in all my plans here so that's like what the rest of the book is um and then the back of the book has some student checklists so you know you can use these for so many different things um so yeah that is my teacher planner that i got for free um, if you're not a recent graduate, then you could obviously just purchase this from their website as well. Um, a lot of stores actually sell this planner. Just wanted to share that with you guys just because, um, that wasn't in my, um, teacher haul video because I didn't have it yet. I got it last week in the mail. Uh, I'm going to, about to throw these on as well as get on my laptop and start my trainings. Um, at least for the next... 45 30 minutes because then I have to um, go to the post office to pick up a package which I want to share with you guys as well um, some stuff I got for teaching so I'm gonna work on some stuff for now and then I'll see you guys when I get my stuff from when I get my package later so I just got back from the post office with my package that I want to share with you guys so with teaching obviously I have to dress fairly 
professional um my district is not making us you know be like crazy business or anything just um look you know nicely professional so i've been going crazy looking for clothes all over could not find like any dress clothes at all like nobody had anything i'm not sure what the deal was so i finally just hopped online on shein because if y'all know what shein is they are um super cheap um i've always liked their clothes the clothes i picked is great quality i've never really had a problem with them so i hopped on um shein and got a couple of i guess blouses or tops as you want to call them um so i'm about to open these up now and kind of show you guys so i guess it's gonna be like a mini haul because it's not that much so uh, let's see what i got so the first top i got is this it's actually like really nice material so it's um this is cute so it's a little i guess it's not like a t-shirt but you could obviously dress this up or dress this down obviously i'm gonna dress it up with some um cute pants or um you know black skinny jeans or slacks so it's just like this orange mustard color i call it mustard it's some leopard i think it's so cute um i have to try them on and see what they look like on me but um i have some jeggings that are actually this mustard color that i actually think that this will look so cute with and then probably with some black flats or some little booties which i have as well so i could definitely make this um a jesse outfit so i'm actually really happy with this and i might to actually save these bags this time oh this one's cute looks a little bit darker on the picture when I ordered it but I still love it so this is I don't know if you could tell on the camera but it's um like a pastel yellow it's like really really light yellow um blouse and I actually have one already like it that order but now it has blue flowers and then the sleeves are like this little lace like dainty I don't know it just gives it a cute little design and then it has the keyhole in the front and the back the last blouse I got for like teaching because the other one is not it's just to wear um so this one is a glass i got for teaching so it's just a nice like pretty baby blue blouse um and then it has the metallic gold little polka dots on it and the sleeves are kind of folded in i think this is so cute with some black slacks gray slacks so it's definitely super cute for teaching um so those are the blouses i got for teaching obviously um this one i don't I think I got it in a crop. I think I got it in just a basic t-shirt, but I think it's so cute. And if you know my my theme for my classroom is rainbow, and I thought this was super cute. So maybe I could wear it on like a Thursday because we can wear blue jeans on Thursday. So maybe I could just wear it with the cute pair of jeans and some like Converse or something cute. And it's not. I didn't get it too cropped, so I think I could still wear it with some high-waisted jeans and not show any skin. And if I do, I could just throw something over it, like a jacket or cardigan. That is my Shein haul, my mini haul, I guess. Um, I'm actually really cute, happy with this stuff. I can't wait to try it on and make some outfits out of it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tuesday now. I am currently gonna go to the school right now to finish cleaning up what I need to since I wasn't there all day yesterday. I want to give you guys a tour of my classroom um, since I haven't done that of course and then I didn't really do like a setting up my classroom video so I'm gonna show you guys around my classroom. So, um, I'm gonna head over there now and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so I'm in my classroom now and I want to just do a quick little tour, show you guys my classroom. I think I'm mostly finished for the most part. Of course, things will probably get moved around or changed because um, we all know that's how teachers know, do. They don't really keep one set up or um, organization. So we'll just see when school starts, but here's my classroom. When you walk in, um, this is kind of what you see. So. Don't mind the de the chairs on the desk for now. Um, the janitors um, shampooed the carpets and all that, so that's why they're up here. So when you walk in um, here on your right, um, we have our own sink in here um, with some our paper towels, our soap, and then our janitor actually just brought in. This is our disinfectant that we're gonna be using for chairs um well tables everything in our classroom gloves 
um, here I kind of left open for now because um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this spot here for my Keurig so I want to set up my Keurig here um, I haven't I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for yet probably to just either put my Keurig stuff in on my K pods sugar and all that or maybe um, the kids homework will kind of see what happens there um, here I actually just moved this here I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it here um, I think it might work best here but this is just a drawer of um, school supplies and stuff of course we're not gonna be allowed to do like community um, school supplies but um, if I need to get them I will I just want to just store them here you know construction paper markers all that it's that side and then up here is just our word wall our sounds that we will be teaching with our curriculum um, and when you come to this corner, this is where you start seeing this side. So in that room, it's just, it's supposed to be like for small groups. Over, I believe they said we're not going to be using that room because of COVID. So right now, we're, um, me and the second grade teacher share that. So we're going to just be probably using it for storage for extra supplies and stuff. And my whiteboard. So you've already saw all these school things or all these supplies in my teacher hall. Here is um, a voice chart I made myself. I got the idea of a teacher, pay teachers, but I created my own using my Bitmoji. So um, I made that. And then here is, if you follow me on Instagram, my teacher Instagram, I posted about this, but I finally finished it with the calendar. My calendar. And then here's my Michael's rainbow bin that I showed you on my teacher hall. And then here's my classroom library. I'm so proud of how it came out. I think it's cute with all the colorful bins. Um, it's not too big because obviously we can't have that much stuff in the classroom with COVID. So I just brought what I could. Um, and then over here is my teacher's desk. So um, this is my work area space. Um, right now it's clean obviously and nice and <laughs> open but it's probably not going to stay like that once school starts so that is mine for now. Um, and then back here I just have a whiteboard which I'm not too sure what I'm going to use for. I haven't figured out what I'm going to use it for but I mean I'm sure something will come up. So right now I just have our schedule. There's my teacher toolbox here with my diffuser um, and then I have a nice little window that go points out to the highway and the bus garage there. And then here is just the cubbies. This is actually being fixed right now, so it'll be here hopefully by Friday. So this is just gonna be a supply drawer. I'll probably just put all these papers in. These were already in there and I'll probably just keep them in there for the kids. It's all my cabinets that i gonna that have all my supplies and books and stuff that I need to do, my curriculum things, everything's up there. So these are the leveled readers for our curriculum as well. I just finished sorting those by unit. That is it, guys, that is my classroom. Um, it's not too, too much, but I didn't want it to be overwhelming and too overstimulating. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any suggestions what I should do with things differently, like, you know, if you guys think something should be moved around or, if you know, of a better idea of something, comment down below. I'd like to hear you guys' ideas. Um, obviously, being a first-year teacher, just trying to figure it out for now, but um, it's obviously a smaller classroom, but it's a smaller school, so that is that. So, if you have any suggestions, comments, throw them in the comments below. I love to read the comments um, or message me on Instagram. I know some of you guys have been throwing me some dms which i love as well it is wednesday now the next day not really doing too much today um nothing at the school or anything anyway um i decided to take today to just stay home and kind of focus on you know my planning and finishing these trainings because i want to get them done um you know the, by this weekend before school starts because i know when school starts i'm not going to want to be um i'm not going to want to be doing them anymore because i'm gonna be super busy with school i'm gonna end this video here guys um if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up like i said comment down below any suggestions you have 
um and really anything just comment down i love reading comments um your guys's dms on my teacher instagram page um go follow that as well and then my um personal i guess instagram go follow that as well subscribe and um if you are starting school this week or next week as well good luck um i wish everyone the best in a safe and healthy um school year and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys